Okay, hopefully you've reached the point that you have your content together. It's tagged with all the terms that you'd like to filter on. So what we want to do next is actually to create the view that we'll use to filter the content. So we've got our content listing here, which should match up with the tutorial. We'll go ahead and create the view. We want to create a block since we're going to actually attach this to each individual note. So as we start here, you can see that we have our seven nodes that we created. And what we want to do is actually filter the nodes that are queried based on the terms that are on the node we're currently looking at. And we can do this with a contextual filter. In fact, the first contextual filter we'll want to add is the one that relates to taxonomy. So hit add contextual filter, start typing in taxonomy. We'll see choices as it relates. The one we want to use, since we have a pretty sim simple taxonomy, is actually just the simple taxonomy term ID. And here, we want to provide a default value. In this case, we want to select the type taxonomy term ID from the URL, meaning that Views is going to know what the term ID or IDs are based on the URL that's currently being read. So when we attach this block to the node page, Views will know when the node is loaded what the taxonomy term IDs are that exist on that individual node. In fact, Views even gives you, when selecting this, a bit of a nudge that says, it's good for related taxonomy term blocks. So let's go ahead and swap over to that choice. And we know we want to limit our vocabulary since we don't want to show nodes that are related to other taxonomies. We only want to use our transit vocabulary, which is the vocabulary that contains our two terms, motored and wheeled. We also know from our requirements that we want to filter to items that share any term. In other words, we don't want to require that if we're looking at something that contains two terms, that the related content also contains the exact same two terms. We want to see content that shows or contains or relates to any of the terms that are on a particular node. We also know that if a node contains multiple terms that relate to the current node, we don't want to show the node multiple times in our related content section. There's an option down here that says reduce duplicates. It works perfectly for what we want to achieve there. And we'll want to make sure to allow multiple values. So let's go ahead and look, take a look at our content and how it's coming together already. I've loaded the train. And as you can see, it has both motored and wheeled. So another vehicle that would be both motored and wheeled would be a bus. Another vehicle would be a car. But a boat's a bit different, right? A boat is only motored, it's not wheeled. You can also see that our pogo stick has never shown up. It has no terms on it. But there was a bit of an issue you may have noticed. If we take a look at skateboard, Skateboard itself comes up. So let's go back to our view and make sure to eliminate the node that we're actually currently looking at. It's very easy to do. We can add another contextual filter. And in this case, we're going to use the filter that is the NID. And what we want to do is provide a default value very similar to a taxonomy term information based on the URL, but this time we're going to use the content ID. So now views will know what the node ID, or as it's being called here, the content ID, based on the URL is of the currently viewed node. And there's actually a great option under the more options here that is called exclude. And it's perfect. This will exclude the currently viewed node in addition to our taxonomy term ID contextual filter from what's being displayed on the page. So we save that and we can see that now skateboard, which is wheel, no longer shows itself in the related content listing. And in fact, if we go to bike, which is wheel, we'll see all the wheeled items, but none that are 
that are just motored, like the boat. We also don't see the pogo stick. So reviewing what our requirements were. Related content should not show the current node. It should show nodes matching any term. And it should not contain any duplicate nodes. So when we look at bike, which is tagged with wheel, we only see nodes that are also tagged with wheel. But if we look at train, which is both motored and wheeled, we don't see multiple instances of other nodes that are both motored and wheeled. We also don't see train itself, no duplicates. Related content for Drupal 7 using views 3.1. Hope it helps you with your next project and next task.